Hello there. Welcome to yet another episode of Rocket League, everybody. Keep the crew violin. So far, we are twentieth, and now three, as we lost our last game in a blood margin of five to one. It makes me so sad. But let's see. Yeah. So, I think we're gonna play just one game in this episode. Then next episode, we'll do the traditional two games. Then we'll do the two games. And then I think we'll have a slightly longer episode and we'll do the last three games. That is, if we don't get eliminated in the playoffs. Because at that point, it's not so much your record that matters in the playoffs. More so, it matters if you win or lose the games. So, if we lose one of those games, likelihood is we're going to be playing for a second seed. If we lose two of them, well, we can count ourselves out of the championship, but we'll still be able to get into that semifinals round with our record. But anyway... Depend, all depends on that AI and if it really F's up or not, or if somehow we have a complete brain fart and really F up. But I have confidence it will be good. So that is the plans for how we're going to record this ending to the season of Rocket League that is here in the game this season, not the show season. So, let's get to it. Through it. Yeah. Alright. Missed him in a few days. Here we go. Hi. Dad. No. Get out of here. No. You make me sad. I had to be so slow, Grandpa. Sunday driving, Grandma. Sunday driving. Uh. Aww. The ricochet is off the plane. No, way too late. Yeah, I was really hesitant on that. Good Hollywood. Good, good, good dog. Good dog. <laughs> this next episode, or this last episode, especially with the last, uh, the latter game of that uh, last episode, it's gonna be so funny to, uh, uh to uh, watch uh, for some people uh, right after today's episode. Uh, because the fact, it's just, it's, oh man, it's, it's too funny to, uh, compare the two. Like, you'll just see in the title today, and then, just knowing by my remarks also today in this video, uh, about what'll be now the last episode, it'll, it'll just make a lot of sense to you as why, in the heck, it'll be probably pretty damn funny. So, uh, yeah. Oh wow, I really turned into that. Made a hard turn for no big ladies in whatsoever. Nice! Oh, uh, yep, that was a little premature. Um, I have to get used to trying to do this, like, I need to practice this a lot more. Get the jump on the. get the jump kick on. Headbutts, but, uh. So far for me, those don't work too well. I'm not exactly the most competent player in the world I've gone. Certainly not the most experienced, that's what I'm up here. At Roundhouse, skate throws your goal. Thanks, Gator. Mighty nice here. Oh no, I'm getting knocked out of the way! I jumped over it! I don't know what possessed me to jump, but I did. That actually was. Excuse me, good point there. Thank you, Tusk, for playing defense. <laughs> I see there's bulls by the way, like, fuck you. Come on, get out of my life. Right. Uh, uh. No. Oh my god. I just realized this is one of the most loggerhead games I've ever played. It's just stuck at where we're at. There we go. That should be a guaranteed goal of a thing. Yep. Yeah, buddy. It was, it's kind of hard to tell because I just gave it a little nudge. I didn't really uh, try and hit it. But yeah, it was, it was a goal. It looked like it potentially could have been wide. But just at the angle uh, Roundhouse was heading for it, I knew that it was like a going to goal. That's going to go. Okay, no longer longer head. As I said it, you know, life, it has to always be contrary to something to say. I like how it came out there. That That's actually really wise. I don't think I've ever done that either. Because I'm so competent. 
You actually don't have the boost on those, and I think that's how you usually get those. But it's funny because the now those corner kicks, it's the opposite uh, corner that's actually being my main trouble. Corner. That was a sweet ass goal. Celebration. Celebration. Come on the game. All right. Sorry, didn't mean to cut that short. Oh, sorry, Hollywood. My evil person. And I drove right around it again instead. Nicely done, Danny. Nicely done. Skillfully done. Very tasteful. The goal is to never touch the ball. And only let the other team touch the ball so that they can score and beat you. That's, that's kind of the goal here. Oh, yep. Drove around it. That's kind of what I thought would be. Either. <laughs> no! I turned just white of it. Guess me, I'm so emphatic. It, it's just, it feels so real to me a lot of times. I don't you know it's not. But, ah, it's just, it's so involving, it's so much fun. It's specifically because it's fun, I guess, because it feels, that's what makes it feel so emphatic and awesome to me. Oh, by the way, I actually found out that uh, there's such a thing that, like, uh, this isn't actually literally a thing, but I do believe it's probably where the developers got the idea for Rocket League from, is uh, apparently Deutsche Autoball. Apparently Germany has something called Autoball, and it's actually using cars, people driving their cars, it's not RC, like these things are, but it's people driving their cars into a giant uh, plastic blown up ball. And it, it's basically soccer, but with cars. It's really cool. So it's basically, it is basically this. It's just with real cars instead of uh, remote controls. So it's really, I, I want to actually now see that. I hope like I can find some videos of it on YouTube. Um, some decently long ones aren't just like, you know, quick highlights or something. Because I, I actually want to, like, I hope at some, somewhere I can actually be able to do that. Um, and hopefully in a language I can understand, which I don't understand anything but English because I'm from the USA. We're intelligent like that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just like... Yeah, you know, I, I really want to see German Auto Ball. 100%. Like, that's going to be amazing. But they do have a game much like this in real life. Ooh, water. Ah, I think it's time for a change. Why not? Why not? 50% uh, score ratio there. Okay. We'll head on to the next one. So, yeah, if you ever have a chance to see German Auto Ball, like if you ever hear it mentioned, like somebody asks you, he's like, hey, uh, you know, you want to see German Auto Ball, in other words, they know where you can see it and you can actually watch it or something, I highly recommend you actually go and you get, take the, uh, especially if you're not from Germany, to so take the rare privilege of actually being able to, uh, to watch it, because, oh man, that would be awesome to see basically a real life equivalent of this, except for the fact obviously you can't have any acrobatics or any uh, aerials. Unless of course somebody really gets uh, overly ambitious I suppose, and then like if it is, uh, yeah, somebody can easily flip you in that sense. Like they uh, get too ambitious and dig under your bumper or something. But uh, that would be pretty cool. See uh, auto soccer. Auto ball. Pretty damn epic. Football, but this with with automobiles. Automobiles! Oh nice, that's gonna be goal. Goal! Because I didn't actually touch it, it before. It didn't count as assist, but we can count that as assist in our sports always. Oh yeah, we can tell that as assist, because I just smacked them just right to make him bump into that to make sure it's actually on Trajectoria. Pro shop. Yep. Nice. He pinned it, actually almost pinned it in, but that actually helped us because one of us was likely to nudge that in there. There was no way the defense could have helped that at that point after he nudged that. If he let it go, that would have been the smartest thing that yeah, I could have done. It would have given us at least a potential challenge. I didn't have to worry about it too much. He drove inside the uh, left hand beam bonus hole. 
Oh, I just realized we're 4 on them. Okay, well, wrecked face. The Monarchs are getting wrecked today. I can feel it wrecking in the air tonight. Phil Collins. Alright. So much wrong with me. <laughs> I love it. Alright. So. We're gonna do the extra bump. Oh, ricochet. Let's see Ricochet. So I got three of our six goals currently. The hat trick. Ricochet! Noise for the voice. This two will pay at Rick and Feast today, soon. <laughs> I love how I accidentally, on episode 5, I ended up saying, most MLD doge. And then I laughed about it because I'm like, oh yeah, it's MLD doge. Uh, and then I realized, like, oh, I said MLD, and I realized that's actually hilariously convenient because MLD, Major League Doge. <laughs> Oh, I like that a lot. That was such a convenient F up. Oh man, I love that I did that. No, Jester, don't you jest. Don't you even jest about this. Good duck. Okay. By the way, in case anybody sees this, ever wonders when I talk about ducks or I tweet about duck or whatever, that is not at all where I got it from, was pudes. I just happen, like, my whole family happens to, like, be born with this innate obsession with ducks. Specifically, uh, if you have enough of our mom and us. It's like with rodents, like, we just love rodents, so like, me and my brother Nathan got, uh, our mom's obsession of, uh, rodents, and, uh, she likes ducks, but she doesn't like ducks as much as me and my brother Nathan, like, we just, we can sometimes just about melt over ducks, we just love them so much, so, my mom likes to pick on me and say, uh, duck soup, I never say duck, she says soup, hey, don't cook my ducks, how dare you, <laughs> so, yeah, she likes to cook beautifully, anyway, but, uh, yeah, I did not get it from Pewds at all, but I, it was actually, in fact, it made me so happy when I first ever, like, it took me so long. He was one of the last big YouTubers I ever decided to look at, because of the fact, uh, you know, I knew he was big, but I just was like, I don't know, you know, I'm like, I, I, I don't exactly know what kept me from watching Pewds for very much, but I don't watch him very much at all, like, my, the main YouTuber I ever watch, on a consistent, like, semi-consistent basis, that is, is, uh, 100% it's uh, Markiplier. Like, I just watch so much Markiplier. It's hard for me not to gravitate to Markiplier automatically. And secondarily, it's uh, Adam or Skate of Minecraft. So. Just the same, bro. Oh my god. I actually helped that go in. I was trying to knock it away from Heater. But I knew it was a, uh, a risk because of the fact that uh, the way it was coming in. Yeah, see, I helped that. Because he turned into it. He actually was trying to score that. And, uh, yeah, that actually helped them a lot to hit that goal. So, they got a go free goal from us. Specifically me and Heater. The big dogs of our team. Anyway, yeah, um, guess they're suddenly going hard. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so I, yeah, I got really late and confused. It was probably, oh, I want to say it was probably late last year. Um, probably around the time I actually got this computer, uh, because that was also, I got this computer specifically so I could do you. That's actually legitimately why I got it, like, 100%. So, um, yeah, what a shot. Um, but yeah, um, that's actually 100% why I got this computer, and it was probably about that time, so it's probably around one of the last days of November. On the first days of December, I decided to watch Pubes, and yeah, because I saw, I heard Duck, immediately I got super happy. Like, I suddenly liked him a lot, because I was just like, wait a minute, this guy is insane, he's weird, and he he calls himself a duck. I love this so much. Me and my rabbit squirrel. But, yeah. Oh, jeez! Okay, that's one way to skin a cat. That's it, Sultan, push that thing in. Yellow belly. Woohoo! Yeah. Alright. I noticed that a lot of people's birthday was today. Uh, specifically YouTube oriented. So, uh, congratulations to those who uh, have a birthday today. You share it with uh, at least two fairly big, in fact, 
they are big YouTubers. So, uh, congratulate yourselves there. It might just be something you uh, can appreciate. So, yeah. Uh, apparently a lot of people share the birthday a uh, birthday with Markiplier. Eepleyerson! But, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure nobody um, on YouTube shares my, especially big, shares my uh, birth date of uh, January 29th. Oh, last second score! That wasn't even intentional, like, I just gave up on that. Um, because it was going to go there, so that's why I turned wide of it. I'm just like, you know, screw this shiznets. And it actually bounced perfectly, um, so that when I cut wide and Khan came in, he actually ended up uh, kissing my face. Another last second goal! I got two goals in one second. Lol. That last one wasn't even intentional though, that's hilarious. They can see the intentional hit. And they can see when I turn wide of it, I'm just like, yeah. That was so epic, I just got a literal buzzer beating goal. Oh yep, definitely going with flowers. I finally got that. Yay! Okay. I was wondering how long it would take before I got the flowers. But uh, yeah, anyway. So I hope you did enjoy this Herb assured, if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe. Stay fruity. Have a wonderful quarter field day. Good job. Yeah! Have a shame for life. Oh, bye bye! Oh, wait. Bombers are on a win streak. Oh, wow. Bombers are on a mass win streak, actually. Look at that. <gasps> the Bombers are 7 and 16. They've, for the first time in the whole season, they have a winning record. Oh, wow. After we beat them, they actually went on a win streak. That's amazing. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> see you later, and uh, yeah, people.